And now we're recording. All right. And you put a fresh, uh, fresh one of these in? Just for you. It's a fresh one. <laughs> it's a baby one, but it's fresh. You told me the secret is sometimes you don't actually have the candy on there still. It's just a stick. Well, most of the time, actually, by the time I get the ring, it's just a stick. Because you've eaten it already. I've eaten it by that point. I've done. I've done long like autograph signings. We had the stick in my mouth for about three hours. But it works the same way. It's the same impression. What know. is the go-to flavor? Um, probably strawberries. Is that what this is? I have no clue what this is. Really. <laughs> it's pink, though. That I know. Give it a smell. Maybe you can determine it. It's just. It smells like lotion. Honestly, it smells like some sort of body lotion. Mm. I didn't know they made that as a flavor. Oh man, that sounds. No, that smells like uh, like tropical, something tropical. It's tropical. Okay. I'm into tropical things. I'm all right with that. It's been so long uh, since I've seen you last that you now have hair again. I have hair. I once again want to apologize for the bald hair, <laughs> the bald situation. I had a Britney Spears like meltdown for a couple of years, and I apologize for it to all the people that witnessed it. I don't look good bald. I thought I looked fabulous bald. I did. I thought it was a really good look for me. Apparently, it wasn't. Looking back, it was really a bad idea. It was like a, just over a year ago that we saw you last. What what caused the uh, shaving of the head? A Britney Spears meltdown moment. That With the umbrella and you were attacking oh, a car just done. like her? Exactly. Wow. I, even, I even urinated on the car at one oh, point. Oh, that's disgusting. That was it. I was done. I was done. You were Aldo last time we saw you. Are also, you now? No, also one of my... I don't know why I was Aldo for a bit. I apologize <laughs> for that too. I just decided to be Aldo and be bald and, you know... You're, yeah. in cars. You're on the Adam Rose apology tour here. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot to apologize <laughs> for. This might take a while. No, no, yes. But you are Adam Rose now? Yes. And I believe you own that name, right? Yes. Okay. No one wanted it, so I took it. It was a, like a... <laughs> there, although, if you go on Twitter, there is a guy actually named Adam Rose. Which I'm sure you get many tweets of his. The actor, Adam Rose. Yeah. Uh, funny story, actually. When I debuted... Me and him got into an argument over my name on Twitter. Actually, for a little while, there was a big argument between me and him. I didn't know who he was. So he knocked me for being a professional wrestler. I knocked him for never winning an Academy Award. Oh. So it got real. Was, was he trying to like, you know. I don't know what he was trying to Was he trying to tell you in WWE, no, you can't use that name? No, he was just like, I'm Adam Rose, you're not. And I was like, no. You were like, you should probably tune in on Monday and you'll exactly. see. Exactly. And then luckily, William Shatner became my friend, so I won that one. Oh, are you still friends with William Shatner? No, he doesn't speak to me anymore. <laughs> what happened? My career happened. But your career is great. Well, it's like saying an asteroid's great, right? An asteroid in space, it's great. You look at it, it's a big asteroid. It's fantastic to look at But in actual fact, it's just falling or crashing into something else. So that, that my career in that aspect is, is great. When we talked to you last year, you said you were going to retire at the end of the year. Yes. What happened? Money. You know, needed a job. That type. Of thing. I was all, I'm going to retire, I'm done. And then when I had no money, I realized, no, I'm not retiring. I need, I need to wrestle some more. But I mean, you were talking about maybe doing some other, you know, outside things, uh, outside of wrestling. Are you still pursuing those things? Um, what did I say? I don't recall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should we play back the interview? Let's not play that interview back. I have no clue how bad that was. was probably no, it was a really good interview. People loved it. In fact, there were two main comments on that interview. What was it? Number one was, why did he cut his hair? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other one was, we really miss Leo Kruger. People really like that gimmick. Yes. Do you really like that gimmick? Yes. More than Adam Rose? I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't go oh, so far as to say that. I, no. What do you mean? I can't. <laughs> We're just putting. I can't. This, I can't. I can do whatever I want. This is true. But I'm happy with whatever I got. D do you? Uh, Oh, no. what, are we, what are we looking at over here? What's going on over here? No, 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 no. Looking for support, moral support as I die a thousand deaths during this interview. Oh, my God. No, no, not at all. Well, at, yeah. Maybe only like 900 deaths. Well, either way, an asteroid crashing into Earth, <laughs> causing massive, you know, destruction, destroying the dinosaurs who were kind of cute. That's sort of what my career was. I, can I talk about the jacket that's next to us here? Can I can I pull this up? Is that all right? I'm not sure what's all in it, so I wouldn't pull it out. Oh, really? It's not it's not it's <laughs> the jacket. All right. Do you, you have to travel with this, right? Yes, I do. Is it a a pain to travel with something so heavy? Um, I'll be honest with you. Yes. 
Because I know that uh, Miz has said the same thing about his coach. Uh, John Morrison told me the same thing. Yes. What's the, you know, like it takes up a lot of very valuable uh, luggage space, does it, it not? Creates, it creates another carry-on, which is the issue, because um, it's another carry-on and it's an issue. And I have to pay for that, which is extra expense. So, so if people are coming and seeing you at an event like, like this one here tonight, they're seeing the Adam Rose gimmick. Do you have like still the rosebuds with you? Um, budget not allowing rosebuds anymore. Um, so budget cuts. We maybe have random rosebud. There's a guy named Peter that occasionally comes around. He's a rosebud. But that's about it. If you're looking for any rosebuds in the Florida area, just let me know. Oh, well, definitely. Okay. As long as they're free. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 w I would not charge you. All right. Do you think that? Oh, Damos is a rosebud. Do you think Massive star, everybody. <laughs> Up and coming star, Damos. Keep an eye out. It's going to happen. It's a good plug. There it is, right? <laughs> Got to say it Russian, though. I don't have a good Russian accent. So Do you want to try one? I can't. No. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Russian superstar. It's coming. It's the new Nikita Koloff. The new one. Just more charismatic. <laughs> um, speaking of rosebuds in your head. All right. Speaking of rosebuds and your entrance, what did you think with the first time you saw No Way Jose's entrance? Um, I saw, well, you know, rosebuds work so well for me. Let's do it again. That's what I thought. No. Um, uh, well, you know, I, it was very similar. I would say that. Very similar. But, it, it, you know, hopefully he does better with it than what I did because it's a great thing just, just how you do it. And um, he's really talented and stuff from what I've seen. But, I mean, he's got fantastic hair, too. I love his hair. He does have hair. good hair. Wears colorful outfits. You know, that's always good. Are you saying that the Rosebud gimmick didn't work for you? Because I, I thought it worked. You just said it. And I didn't say no, it. No, you, you said you said now it didn't work. But that's your <laughs> opinion. And, um, I, you know. I did not say that. You said it didn't work. Your exact words were the Rosebud gimmick didn't work was the end of what you said. Man. Which is all right because that wasn't my gimmick anyway. That was something the I did. But, you know, like an asteroid. The massive asteroid <laughs> traveling through the, the stars. <laughs> and then it <laughs> crashes into Earth. It's sort of the Rosebuds. <laughs> if Adam Rose and the Rosebuds wasn't your gimmick, what was your gimmick? It was just wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> So we, I think I we. I think it's. Wondrous, <laughs> I, I used to describe it as walking magic. It was magic with legs. I think it is important here, as we sit on these very talk show-looking seats here, to point out that we do have a captive studio audience here. Would you like to introduce us I'd to like who's to here? Introduce you. Um, uh, this is. I forget the name. Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> this is Bailey, not the Bailey that you know, but another Bailey, quite fabulous. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This is. Matt. Uh -huh, yeah. Matt just hangs around. I'm not quite sure we've okay, found him. Yeah. <laughs> we, it was a gas station down the road. We stopped for gas, and the next thing you know, Matt was with us. So, <laughs> so um, but nice to have you, Matt. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, Austin Gunn over there. Get a good shot of that, because yeah. that's a superstar. Austin just, Gunn. Just his, just his name right. is on his shirt. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, Look at that. Austin? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at that. And he's jacked. He's, he's jacked. jacked. He's Jack. Oh, that's the main event. Yeah, that's the main event of attraction. That's Damos. <laughs> don't say his name too loud. He might hear you. <laughs> and of course, uh, the one and only, legendary. <laughs> Billy Gunn. Yeah. I was wondering where we're going. With wonderful that. wife. That's wonderful wife. Wow. Paula. 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 <laughs> Pull up. Uh, Let's uh, get one more shot of Damos. <laughs> one, more shot. <laughs> one more shot of Damos. Official underscore. Official underscore, Damos. Get his merch. My interviews with you always end so interestingly. The last one, you were just like, oh, I think we're done, and you just walked away. This one, I think... Uh, this one's been, like, kind of horrific from the beginning, oh, though. Wow. So. But, yeah, it seems to be what we, we do, you know? You have viewers for this? Yeah, there's there's dozens of people watching right now. Is that counting them? <laughs> well, well, there's six people in the room, including them. So there's six others. And Daniel, our cameraman. Yeah, got, so that would yeah. be, I don't know, you work the math out. So there's at least six four, more people here. Four people. Four people watching this. Get a life if you're watching this. Go do something. Get a job. 
do something with your lives. If this is interesting to you, do something else. Mm -hmm. You know, watch a good show. Find a good show to watch. Walking Dead used to be good. It's crap. Now. It's crap now. What's Red good now? Um, it's good right now. Mm -hmm. Raw. WWE Raw is good right now. You look for series. It's really good. I need a job. Will you be? Will we see you back on the hit television program WWE Raw? Um, you know, you never know. And it, it went down so well the first time round. You know, why not? Why not capitalize on all that momentum? Asteroids <laughs> just coming down, just asteroids uh -huh. crashing into Earth, devastation. Devastation, the only thing living. Deimos. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're ending it right there. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you never know what you're going to get when you talk to Adam Rose, but you do know that it's going to be entertaining. A lot of talk about asteroids in there. You know, I'm very interested to see what you guys say in the comments. And I think he's still great in the ring. There's no reason we couldn't see Adam Rose or even Leo Kruger in Impact or in Ring of Honor. I think that he could have a really good run there. Uh, since we talked about Adam's other interview with me, I'm gonna put that right down there. I'm also gonna link it below. If you wanna see a really interesting interview that went off the rails, check out my chat with Evan Bourne, Matt Seidel. I'll put it right here. I'll also link that below. Uh, thanks as always for watching. Uh, I'm just a massive wrestling fan like you guys are. So I try to ask the questions that you guys want to hear and have a conversation that you guys are interested in listening to. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe below and I've got lots more interviews coming up soon.